Hello everybody, GOW Free Prime here, and welcome to Let's Play Devil May Cry. Haha, <laughs> he actually thought he could stab me. In the last episode, we got quite a bit done. We went to a sunken pirate ship, ship. we said, we synced said pirate ship, and we got a shield which shall hopefully open up the Colosseum. And I also said we will open up this door, but that is a little bit easier of a task, and now we shall move forward. It's like someone had a party here. Let us move through said door. Which is unsealed, and this should look... Okay, it should look better after the mission clear screen goes forward. I don't feel like saving, actually, so I shall just uh, continue forward. Haha, <laughs> with mission 15, Wheel of Destiny. Use a shield and a pair of lances to conquer the Colosseum! Awesome. So with that, we have gotten our objective. So, how about we do said objective? That kind of speaks for itself. I don't know why I have to feel like to say that. But yeah, this should look familiar to uh, anyone who's been following. And you should look familiar as well. We killed your brothers. Oh, there's uh, another one of your brothers. So, yeah, I really thought you would have learnt your lesson by now, and it seems like this meteor is the only thing that's actually hitting you. So I shall spam it. Who cares about my battle ranking? Actually, I kind of care about it a little bit, because I feel like I want to accomplish something. But you are not helping! Okay, yeah, you're seriously not helping. I'm just going to activate Devil, tr Devil Trigger. And do some... Nice cool combos on you. No, I did not though. Come on. Yeah, cool! That's what I'm talking about. Now give me your orbs. I said give me the... Uh, whatever. Now, if you remember correctly, there are actually two doors online, and shout out to Geese King. I guess I forgot to, went off uh, to go offline. Uh, oh well, it doesn't matter. But if you remember correctly, there are actually two shield doors. One of them is required, and I think this is the required one, if I remember correctly. I think this is... If you look over here, there is a Luminite, a mysterious stone that, dies, uh, that shines in the dark. An ordinary stone that exists in the underworld has somehow over time gained different properties in the human world. Interesting. But yeah, basically... One is required, one isn't, so... I am going to be showing off both, as of course, because you actually get a pretty nice reward for, um... I wasn't actually supposed to unveil that yet, but I guess it's better be late than ever, and... Did you just puppeteer me, made sure you can... No good, sir! You shall get an uppercut to the chin, and you shall like it. But yeah, what I was trying to say is... Oh, another one of you, eh? Haha! -ha! I have cross-countered your... Fire! Don't know why that took me a while to think up those words. Anyway, blue or fragment, that's, a, that's an important thing here. And we actually got enough for another blue orb! Nice! So that's a pretty big health bar we're getting, good, uh, getting there, but it can still get bigger, so that is good news. And that is a huge red orb there. So let us continue forth. Uh, what was I trying to say? Was I s yeah, I was saying that there's a pretty nice reward, and yes, this is the part I was thinking of. Uh, you have to fight enemies here. Wouch on a moving floor with spikes. Yeah, this is going to be a fun place, isn't it? Oh god, I didn't want to go to the action thing. Uh, there we go. Aha, but I can fly, so I say screw you and your walls, and screw you and your... ...sives. Thought oh, there were scissors for a second, just like the other one. Ooh, 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 get those orbs. Now, camera angle can be a little bit annoying here sometimes. 
Got another one somewhere. Come on. Come on, there we go. Okay, so just uh, move forward. There we go, that's my camera angle. Okay, uh, let me just uh, scooch on past there. Thank you. Now, is this the place where you need to go? No, it is. It may be. I cannot remember. I think you need something. I can't. Uh, what's are inscribed? Sacrifice to become magical and rise the connect passage to the sky wharf. Yes, um. I think we need something there, if I remember correctly. Either that or I just have a horrible memory. Which I do, honestly, so I will not be surprised. <sighs> this is a fun part. Okay, if we just jump over here. Now, if I remember correctly, you're supposed to do that. And then... Uh, uh, nope, not quite. Ah. Uh, okay, jump over there, and... Uh, come on, I think you can actually just jump straight to it. The poison doesn't do too much damage, so... That's kind of helpful. But, uh, yes, come on. Come on, Dante. Show off your supreme jumping skills! Okay, maybe not. Maybe you do have to jump off the wall. Uh, I can't remember how many times it took for me to jump. I might have to cut if this takes too long. Oh, no, there we go. Did it straight there. Aha! The Colosseum entrusts the Conqueror with the lance. The time has come to open the door! Pair of lances. A pair of lances to be held by the knights who guard the gate. The, you cannot equip this item. I want to skewer enemies with two lances. Actually, I like my sword much better. Screw the lances. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, right, I'm going... Uh, I feel like I'm missing something here. What was I was supposed to do here? Words are inscribed. Sacrifice become magical powers and rise as the connecting passage to the Skywalk. Uh, I cannot remember what you're supposed to do here. I shall probably put a little note in the annotations. Curse me and my terrible memory! Jeez, that was a bit close. Like I said, this one's a little. This le first let's play is actually a little bit in improvised to get me used to the routine. The next ones after this will be much more practice and revised, let's say. Don't want to use that word at the moment because of my exams, but still. Aha! So that's where you came from, Zweihund. I do not know why I am speaking German all of a sudden, but... Nah, I don't have an explanation for that. I have no idea why I just did that. I apologize if I offended anyone with my terrible German accent. Uh... Right, looks like the star skies are darkening, but I am going to say screw you guys because I just want to walk through and not go through that door just yet and actually go to the red door. Or slightly pinkish red door, but. Though well, it says red light, but yeah, let's be honest, pinkish red. And let us do the next passage, which actually gives us quite a nice reward if you take the time to come here. Uh, I probably should... Oh god. I probably should uh, go offline after this episode just to stop them getting in the way. Not to be rude, but anyway. Uh, I believe we have a... Yes, we do. We have a... Oh, I thought I turned you off. Uh, we have another secret room here. With a yellow orb instead of a blue orb. That's actually quite helpful because I used one earlier. And yellow orbs are very nice. We actually got quite a lot of red orbs now that I think about it, so I got some... Oh, actually I'm going to upgrade right over, over to this convenient place over here. I uh, feel like I'm going to do one more health upgrade and I'm going to work on some moves next.
but not quite yet because I don't think I have enough for anything I want. I mean, I could go for something like air hike, but I don't know. Air hikes, air hikes kind of boring, but I don't like anything else. So if I'm now, if I remember correctly, it's supposed to do that. That opens up. And now we got time limits! Yeah. We got another one there and... We got the blocks... Falling... Don't hit me, don't hit, stab me. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh that was a close one. Oh! That was that was a little bit close for comfort, just a little bit. But anyway, now we've got the Nightmare Beta, a weapon performed in the underworld. Its powers are unknown, and like jerks, they close up, and we have to go through the poison below. Actually, there is no poison below. There's just enemies, enemies which I should probably actually test my new item on. This weapon's interesting. It sort of fires a laser bolt, and wow, that just racked up the stylish combos. But it's like it bounces off the walls. It's quite a cool weapon, but it takes a little. It's got a very high startup time. You can use it in the air, which I kind of like. But if you use it in the air, then it doesn't bounce off the uh, walls. So I don't know. It's a pretty cool weapon. I shall keep it equipped for a bit to give it some further screen use. Wait for these spikes to go. There we go. Nice spike in camera action there. If we go up here... Is that for us to become much more the water? And if you... Okay, that's it. That settles it. I'm going to go offline after this part. Uh, that's just going to get too annoying. Once again, I'll put an annotation for this thing, because I don't know... Okay, just wait up. There we go. Aha! That just... Wow, that just... Utter that, that just completely annihilated him. Let's see if we can get him off the wall. Yes, yeah, not oh God. That rack up stylish combos quickly. Jesus. But anyway, I think once we defeat these enemies. Okay, so now it chooses to go off the wall. Maybe I have to try. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know why I was shooting the wall there. I wasn't telling him to do that, but you know. Oh well. Okay, once we take random side hit is random. I guess it was still technically an item, so that made sense. Oh god. But once again, that's what I was talking about with those last hit. But anyway, I think we shall end it off here. So in the next episode, we shall be taking on Griffin in the final batum, battle in the Colosseum. So, strike a pose like Dante, and this is GOW3Prime, signing out.